Good morning, family, and welcome to today's lesson for life. Today is Friday, December 12, 2008, and today we're reading Exodus chapter 24, and as always, I do encourage you to read the entire chapter 2 for yourself, but there's something I want to touch on for today's lesson for life, um, and something that we've even spoken about before, but when you, even as we discussed yesterday, when you see these things repeating, repetition is the mother of learning, when you see these uh, lessons repeating, these are something that you really want to take hold of and really want to apply because they're very important and the stuff that you need to learn. That's why we see it over and over and over again. But uh, after we see in Exodus 24, after Moses is um, communicating with the Lord, he comes and he tells the people, and uh, after he tells the people, the first thing he does afterwards is he writes down what the Lord told him. He writes it down. Even before he builds an altar, he writes down what the Lord told him. And this is really such an importance in writing down the different things that need to be done. And I've seen uh, in my own personal life both sides of it. When you write things down and when you don't write things down. When you write things down, there's a specific order that you can follow, like a checklist, and you get things even accomplished when you write it down, like the things you want to do for the day, for the week, for the month, even for the year. And you just have something that you can uh, go back to and you can check off and you uh, feel good when you check stuff off. And you can actually get more done. And I've seen the other side too when I don't write things down where, you know, you kind of go throughout the day and you, at the end of the day you, you wonder where did all the time go? Where did, you know, how, what did I do with all that time? And, you know, you kind of leave things out. You forget to do things even though you might have the greatest intentions to do it, but you didn't write it down so you might forget to do it. And you just uh, kind of lose your time when you don't write things down. So it's really important, as we see it, Moses wrote things down, um, wrote the, what the Lord told him, all the, everything that he told him, he wrote it down before he even went to build an altar. So we need to get in the practice of, <coughs> uh, or the habit of writing our things down, writing down things that we want to accomplish, writing down our goals, writing down you know, the, the different tasks we need to maybe fulfill throughout the day or throughout the week. And you'll see how you get even more accomplished uh, with that. And then even further in this chapter, you see as more proof of, as we say about re repetition and how we learn these lessons are really important, that the Lord even writes down, <clears throat> because you see, he says to Moses, you know, to come and there's going to be some laws he's written, that the Lord has actually written. So now you know if uh, Moses has written it, you should be writing, but now especially if you see that the Lord has even said that he's written stuff down, then you also need to be writing stuff down. So get in the practice or habit of writing things down. You're going to see your day is going to be more productive. You're going to see that you're going to feel better about the day because you're going to you know, get th more things accomplished and you'll even have a sense of um, uh, that you've accomplished stuff because you'll see your checklist being checked off, things being done. So uh, that's it for today's Lessons for Life. As always, like I said, I encourage you to read the entire chapter through for yourself and create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today and we will talk again tomorrow.